What's up, family? I am here in the newly completed park by my work, and I thought it would make an excellent venue for the newest episode of Non-Binary Abroad. I'm Emily, and I'm a non-binary person residing in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm an English teacher, and today I'm going to talk about my experiences in satisfaction and gratification and other such musings. So here we go. So here I am at the park, and I'm thinking about my experience here in Taiwan so far. We've been here for almost five months. So, we're almost halfway through our time here. We're pretty sure that we're going to move home this summer. Although, you know, who's, who knows, we'll see. But I'm so grateful for this opportunity, and that sounds so cliche, but I really am. It took a lot of work for me and my husband to get here. It really, it took a lot of long, long shifts, sleepless nights, there was a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. There's still a lot of anxiety. There's still a lot of depression. It's certainly not the experience I was expecting, but it's an amazing experience nonetheless. It's really hard though for me to remember the positives. Um, I have generalized anxiety disorder which means that like every small inconvenience or worry is kind of a big deal and I have depression, which more than anything just makes me tired all the time, which is super, super crappy. Um, but, you know, I had a great day today. I taught my first grade classes how to make origami frogs. It was amazing had fun. I loved it. They loved it. You know, it was pretty much as great as you could expect a teaching experience to go. And still, I I finished up teaching for the day. I got my lunch. I had lunch. My lunch was great. And I sat down at my desk and I just still felt like so dissatisfied with my life. I even did art. I started sketching an idea for a friend. Um, and I just kept thinking to myself about how I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Before I forget to mention it, the reason why I'm popping around this park so much is I'm trying really hard not to like film poor unsuspecting locals in my emotional rant. <laughs> you know, um, especially since it's right next to my work, I don't want to accidentally like film one of my students or their families because um, that's not very nice. But like I was saying, I, I want to go home, man. I miss my friends. I miss my comfort zone. I miss pizza that tastes like pizza I'm used to. I miss boomers. I miss so many things. Um, but I don't want to go home. You know, we've only been here for five months. I want to keep teaching. I want to watch my students grow. I want to go to Hualien. I want to... I want to pick up my fridge tonight. I want to start cooking. I want to do so many things. And it's just really frustrating because I think I came to Taiwan with this idea that it was going to solve all my problems. Um, which I, like, even, I realistically knew that it wasn't going to. I even remember talking to people before. I, like, I'm scared because I know that I'm going to get to Taiwan and I'm still going to have depression and I'm still going to have anxiety. Um, I'm still going to be worried about the global clusterfuck that's going around the world right now. Um, I'm trying to stay off Facebook because between all of the lovely photo updates and statuses and cat pictures and life updates that I keep seeing from all of my wonderful friends and family, you know, there's eight other... Trump is 
destroying our national parks, police brutality is happening. And not that I don't want to face those realities because I'm an adult and that's part of being an adult is dealing with the adult world, but it's really hard not to be terrified all the time, especially as somebody with anxious mental health issues and depression. It's really, really easy for me to want to just give up. Like, I, I would if we have the money. I like, I have fantasized about legitimately just being like, okay, husband, we're buying plane tickets, we're going home, we're crashing with your parents, and we'll get jobs and figure it out. But I don't want to do that because I know I'd hate myself for it, you know? And I just gotta stick it out for like six more months. And then we can go home and it'll be okay. But I just, I don't know what to do until then, you know? I've tried throwing myself into work, which works while I'm at work, until I'm not at work. And I'm laying in bed thinking about how much I'd rather be home. Or, you know, I'm trying to arrange appointments with a psychiatrist because I really need therapy. I really do. But I also need my medication refilled. And it's not as easy as just going to a pharmacy like I thought it was. Like I had read online that it was. My life lessons. I'm mostly just tired of feeling no matter what I put effort to into in my life, it's going to just be a constant struggle. And I don't mean like a normal struggle. You know, life is a struggle. Challenges and stress are good things to have, but I'm just tired of feeling panicked about survival. I've got loans that I'm behind on because I can't afford to pay them and filling out the applications to get lower payments on my student loans is such a daunting task. I've tried to do it like two or three times since I've been here and it's just, it feels impossible. I... I'm completely distanced from my closest family and although we talk online it's not the same thing. And I feel guilty being unhappy, you know? I'm doing something that so many people in my generation from America dream of doing, you know? I'm traveling, I'm experiencing another culture for the fourth time, you know? I I feel like such an ass for complaining about it. And I am kind of an ass for complaining about it, but I don't know. I. I've tried bottling it, I've tried just talking to my friends about it, and it's kind of like when you're making pasta and it starts to boil over, and so, you know, you start, like, blowing on the foam to get it to stop boiling, but, you know, it doesn't actually work. And my husband, who's a chef, would say, well, you should have put oil in the water, you dumbass. Um, and I guess I'm just trying to figure out what the life equivalence for that is, you know? What can I add to my life to make it feel like I'm not constantly overwhelmed? And I was talking to a good friend of mine today, Eric, um, who made a great point that even if we gave up and went home, it's not going to stop me being worried about the crises all over the globe. It's not going to stop me being stressed about money. For sure, I mean, 
it would make finances harder. So I really just needed a way to sort of vent all of these feelings I'm having. And, I don't know, just kind of send it out into the world. So anyways, like I said, I am logically and knowingly grateful and appreciative of this opportunity. I I love the things I get to do. I'm so happy to have learned so many things. And I'm learning so many things that shouldn't be in past tense. I... I'm scared to be as open as I'm being right now, but I feel like if I keep like bottling all of this, I'm just gonna go nuts. I just wish I could figure out what I need to do to feel at least mostly content. It's really hard not to feel like I've screwed up somewhere, to not already feel like I have some sort of success. And I know my family that's older than me and people with more life experience are probably laughing. I will probably laugh at myself in however many years when I watch this. I know I laugh at my past self for being upset over what are now small things, but that doesn't diminish the struggle. The struggle is real. But anyways, yeah, if you stuck with my video until now, kudos. Um, if you've tolerated my whining and my ranting, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just ready to be the person that I want to be, you know? I want to feel like I have more control over my life. I'm tired of feeling like I have to diminish myself in order to succeed. And then that success isn't really genuine. It's, you know, monetary success. It's reputation success. You know, I can't be openly trans to my coworkers and students. I can't apparently get recognition other from close family and friends for my art, which I appreciate. And I know I haven't even put in an ounce of effort into my work compared to artists with recognition. But it's just really easy to get discouraged when you're living paycheck to paycheck and barely paying for your cost of living and you feel like you're doing so much. And on top of that, anytime you try to express yourself or open up about your dissatisfactions or ask for help, you feel guilty. Because that's what anxiety and depression and whatever else I have 
sometimes it feels like anxiety and depression can't be all, all that I have. Um, I don't know if you've heard about ACEs. They're called, it's short for Adverse Childhood Experiences. So if you're in education, you'll know what an ACE is. They, oh, ugh, mosquito in my ear. They're a pretty good um, factor for determining, you know, lots of things. People with higher amounts of ACEs generally have shorter life expectancies. They have a higher um, probability of substance abuse, uh, mental and cognitive disabilities, blah, 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 blah. Um, I've got myself a lovely handful of five ACEs, um, and I'm sure plenty of you on the internet are like, oh, Sounds like an excuse to feel sorry for yourself, but for me, it's not really an excuse to feel sorry for myself. It's actually kind of validating to know that in my life, I've gone through things that should have put me in a place that is a lot lower than here, while at the same time, I have also a lot of privileges that I think have helped me from being lower than where I'm at, that I know have kept me happier, healthier, safer. Anyways. I had to escape the mosquitoes um, because getting eaten alive while you're venting out your deepest insecurities is definitely adding insult to injury. Um, but yeah, so I can't really think of much more to say on the topic of I'm privileged and sad, so I'm going to rant about it, but thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to go get on the train and go get a fridge and a washing machine, and I don't know, maybe after getting that done I'll feel better. But anyways, love you all, and I wish you and me happier, healthier days, and wherever you are in the world, have a good night, a good afternoon, or a good morning. See ya!